All right, this is for the uh, Husqvarna Automower Series uh, 430 and 450. I'm sure probably have the same setup. Um, I've already taken everything apart, uh, so this is going to be a reassembly. The, the uh, taking everything apart is obviously going to be the exact opposite of this. This is uh, what had happened is the bearings that allow the, I guess, friction disc to uh, spin freely. One of the bearings had frozen up. Um, you know, this actually one bearing was still looking okay, but the other bearing is you know, completely froze. Uh, so I was getting a fault telling me that the uh, um, a blade fault error. So if you're getting a blade fault error, uh, you know, check and see that your disc is spinning free, that your friction disc is spinning free of the actual blade disc. Um, so now these bearings, uh, I will have the bearing number in the description. Bought a pack of eight bearings on uh, uh, Amazon for I think ten dollars so you need two bearings uh, there is a spacer in between uh, the bearings were inside this uh, or are inside this little housing uh, so uh, essentially what you do you take a look this is the orientation of the screws how the friction just goes in so one bearing first so hopefully this will uh, I did have to kind of beat the old ones out a little bit bearing and then spacer And then the next bearing, push them in there until they seat up against the shoulder on the back. Um, you push it as far as you can with the uh, with your thumb. You'll be able to sort of draw that in with your uh, with the bolt afterwards. So this is the uh, this is the bolt. Oop. This is the bolt that holds everything in. So slide that on. Slow it on very nicely, pretty much just drops into place. Then uh, the Allen head screw in the middle retains everything in there. Give it a good little, little pull, but not too hard. Um, and then, actually, I did put my screws back in a friction disc because my bearing was so shot that uh, it actually was grabbing onto the shaft a little bit. Normally this thing slides right off real easy, um, but mine was kind of grabbing on because that uh, that bearing had spun on there and I guess maybe just bit into the material just a smidge. So I'm going to actually flip my friction disc so this gets nice and shiny from dragging the grass. Every once in a while when I take this thing off, I flip it over 180 degrees, orient this thing so that Head bits. Careful not to cross thread that with this power screwdriver. Bite into the old threads again. spinning nice and free that should be it so if you get a blade fault uh, that's your test you should be able to spin that nice and free um, if when you spin this it's pulling the uh, pulling the blade disc with it uh, that's probably a good indication you might have some grass built up underneath here first check and see if that's just grass build up but if the grass is free and or, or if it's cleaned out and this thing isn't spinning freely then it's probably your bearing um, now I do have thousands, probably about 3,000 hours on this before the bearing went bad, but uh, you know, I, I, I've heard cases where people uh, have some issues with these bearings, you know, maybe it's running through water a little too much, some water getting in those bearings, so um, that's it.